Hey everyone! I'm Mindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles and today I'm going to show you how to do the side fringe twists. So this is a very fun style that's kind of edgy and like slightly punk. It looks like you kind of shaved your head on one side when you really didn't. So bonus, you don't have to shave your head. Um, I'll tell you more about it as I get doing the twists. But I have started on her hair by just parting where she normally parts, which for her is the left. And we have the heavy side, which is where the majority of our hair falls, and then the light side. And we're going to be working with the light side today. So I'm going to take, just kind of from the back of her part, about down to her ear. And I'll turn her so you can see. So we're just kind of going right behind her ear. And it doesn't have to be exact. You can just do whatever you feel comfortable with. And um, that's our, gonna be our little segment that we're gonna use. So when you've got that all parted off, then pull the rest of the hair over to the side so that it just kinda stays out of the way. And I should have grabbed a clip, but I didn't. So I, be advised, you will need a clip as well. Okay, now from this point, what we're gonna do is tip, tip, tip her head. Um, and I'm gonna just divide a small section I'm roughly going for about four twists, so if you kind of keep that in mind. This is where you would normally lay that over and clip it, but I'm just going to have her hold it since I didn't grab a clip. So to start the twist, okay, so I first, let me explain. I saw this in, originally on Kendall Jenner's hair, and it looked really cute, but she had cornrows in, and it, cornrows are great. They look great, but they are just a little bit slower, so I'm actually going to do a French twist. So you're gonna take a little piece at the beginning and divide it into two sections. And just remember that you're always twisting upwards towards the top of the head. So once you've twisted once, add a little piece of hair to the bottom and twist upward again. Add a little piece of hair to the bottom, twist upward. You can see that we're only adding hair to the bottom strand, twist upward. And continue to do that until you run out of hair or you kind of hit that back part that we originally sectioned and then stop. Um, these, I learned how to do these little twists because on my daughter's, uh, my little black daughter's hair. Okay, so take a bobby pin and you're gonna just put the bobby pin over that section. Whoop, sorry. And then just push it down in. My hands are funny. Okay. Take it and tuck it in. That's much better. And that's just going to hold that whole twist into place. So um, then we're going to section off our next piece. Remember, we're going for about four. You can do more or less. You can do three. You can do five. Just whatever you want, depending on the thickness of your hair, how high up your part goes, all that stuff. Um, so on my black daughter, of course, you know, their hair is really different. And lots of braids and twists are involved in doing her hair. And we, um, I learned how to do these because they look so much like cornrows from far away that people often mistake them for cor cornrows. So they're kind of like a secret um, thing that the moms of little black girls use in, in when they don't want to do cornrows. They just do these cute little twists and then they look just as good. So, okay, we're twisting upward still. Twisting, twisting. And when, again, when we run out of hair, from that section. Then just grab a bobby pin. For some reason, I actually think these bobby pins are easier to do on yourself. Okay, put it over that little twist and then just push the bobby pin down inside that twist. And that's gonna hold it really tight for the rest of the day. Head up just a little, please. Divide off our last section. So get it where you want it. I don't like that ending right there. Okay, that's better. And again, take a small piece at the beginning. Remember, just always twisting upward, only adding hair to the bottom. What I like about these twists versus just a regular flat twist um, is that it adds a little texture because of the bumpiness when you're pulling the strands in. I'll show you what I mean in just a second. Okay, so here, can you see how it's just little texture where you're pulling the strands in? 
That is what makes it look deceivingly like a cornrow, is that little added texture to it. So if you um, did a regular twist, for instance, that one's sure, and a normal twist, you would just grab the hair and roll it all like this backwards, and it just wouldn't look quite as jagged on the top as a French twist. Okay, tip your head back, please. Last section, twist, twist. Her bangs tend to go off like sort of on a diagonal, so this top twist on her might be slightly diagonal. That's okay. Okay. And when you're done with that top twist, again, Bobby, push it down, the twist, and it'll be secure. Then simply undo the hair, grab a brush, and rebrush the rest of the hair. And then we're gonna comb all the rest of the hair over to this side. And of course, add a little hairspray to hold any little flyaways or anything that we need to in place. And you're ready to go. It's a really quick hairdo. Doesn't take much time. Simple to do on yourself. I did these on myself this morning. So it's very easy because you're just working right here by your ear. So it's great and I think you'll love it. Hey, um, tell me what you think you would rather see next. Another back to school hairdo? Or I know with school starting, people are already starting to worry about homecoming. So go to my Twitter, it's at cutegirlhair, and leave me a comment telling me, or send me a tweet, not a comment, telling me if you'd rather see homecoming hair or back to school styles. And we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.